Hi guys, uh, Sanket here. Welcome to another video, another tutorial on my channel. Uh, today we are going to uh, study and see a tutorial on homology modeling. So uh, in the first part we will be looking at what is homology modeling and uh, what are the steps in homology modeling. And the second part we will be uh, looking at one of the tool with which we can perform homology modeling. So um, <clears throat> imagine you have an uh, amino acid sequence. Okay, and when you have an amino acid sequence, that means you know the protein. Okay, so because every protein structure has basically an amino acid sequence. But what if you do not know the structure of the protein? So there's only the sequence available, but no structure. Then how do you actually determine the structure of the protein? <clears throat> Simple. We can use uh, experimental methods which are uh, protein structure determination methods such as your X-ray crystallography or NMR. So, but the issue with these experimental methods are um, it is A very much time consuming and second it is very very costly. So uh, what should be done okay uh, in this case. So that is why we move or we go towards your computational methods. Okay, so computational methods or in silico methods are um, help us to predict what is the tertiary structure. Now this my dear friends is what we call as the tertiary structure of the protein. So using in silico methods we can predict this tertiary structure of the protein and obviously uh, it has no cost at all and it takes very little time. So how, how do you actually do that is initially you perform a blast. Blast is nothing but your alignment. So we carry out a pairwise alignment of your protein sequence with all the other sequences a protein sequences which is there in different databases like your uniprot okay or swiss prod from this what will happen is you will get a highly identical sequence so you from so we will get a, a sequence which is highly identical to this sequence of us okay this unknown sequence of us and from this we can predict what is going to be the um three dimension structure so how we are going to predict i mean if you use you will get to know that if we say that this sequence and some another sequence are highly identical that means first of all that highly identical sequence should have a known protein structure okay and if it has a known protein structure that means okay we can also predict a protein structure for this sequence like for example um, if we say carrying out blast with some other sequence suppose this sequence is giving a 90% identity so like highly identical right so let's say 90% identical here okay if two sequences are 90% identical matlab two sequence ke structures will also be 90% identical Yes or no? Because your structure is derived from your sequence. So if sequence 90% identical, then the structure is 90% identical. Hoga. All right. So this is basically the funda, okay, of carrying out homology modeling. This type of modeling is what we call as your knowledge-based methods. Now. <clears throat> Knowledge based methods is nothing but where you are predicting the protein structure. So whatever we saw in the previous slide, all of this is a part of your knowledge based methods. Now knowledge based methods has two types. One is your homology modeling, okay, which is this one. And second is the threading method. Uh, homology modeling is, as I said, is you determine or you predict the three dimensional structure of the model based on the experimentally determined structures. Now a quick question. Um, when I'm saying there are experimentally determined structures, which is nothing but X-ray or NMR. Uh, which database will I find experimentally determined protein structures? Okay, that is X-ray or NMR uh, based ex structures. In which database will I be able to find it? Correct. If you have guessed it right, that is PDB or Protein Data Bank. Okay, so Protein Data Bank is that uh, database which has experimentally determined structures. That means what happens in your homology modeling or also in your threading is this unknown sequence is um, is uh, is made to carry out a sequence alignment or should we say blast 
a blast is done for that unknown sequence to all the known sequences which is present in your pdb structure okay i hope i hope you understood this all right so uh, homeless so it determines the structure model based on the experimentally determined structures which are closely related to sequence threading is very much similar to the homology modeling it does the same sequence uh, similarity thing okay uh, only difference is even though uh, in in this case almost all the sequence should ideally be identical in this case even though there is a little bit of sequence similarity okay um, then also it is fine then also we can um, uh, it's able to predict what the rest of the structure is okay so this is our knowledge based methods where you are trying to predict a three dimensional structure uh, of protein for a sequence whose structure basically is not known how by looking at the databases where the uh, three dimensional structures are available okay simple all right so uh, to uh, to basically more clearly explain you what is homology modeling homology modeling helps to predict us what is the protein structure based on the sequence homology okay uh, it is also known as comparative modeling i hope you understood why it is called as a comparative modeling okay we are comparing our unknown sequences with the highly identical sequence which is the known sequence and when we are comparing the sequence that is obviously we are going to compare the structures also abhi unknown sequence jo hai jiska structure no nahi hai but we know the sequence so if the 90% identity hai comparing it that means the structure will also be 90% identical okay so if two c proteins have a high sequence similarity then they have the similar three structure exactly what i said if two sequences are 90% identical that means dono ke structures are also 90% identical if there are 95% sequence similarity between both of them okay that means okay the 95% of the structure will also be similar the reason being is as i just said in the first slide okay the protein structure is derived from the sequence if your sequence changes so will the structure of the protein so if two sequences are exactly exactly identical okay the structure will also also be the same okay so if one protein has a known structure then the structure copied to an unknown protein is with high degree of confidence okay it's the same thing what i actually said right now so you understood what is homology modeling now let us look into what are the steps okay of homology modeling the first step is you carry out template selection template selection nothing but means is you um Uh, is exactly what i said you carry out blast okay if you if you saw in the previous what we did is we took that sequence and we did a blast to find the most identical sequence that most identical sequence is what we call as a template you understood so uh, remember the first example what i gave so we have an unknown sequence i did a blast to the unknown sequence and then what we got is a highly identical sequence that highly identical sequence is what i call as a template now obviously that highly identical sequence will have a protein three dimensional protein or tertiary protein structure developed so that protein structure will be a template for our unknown sequence template in simple mean words also means reference okay so that protein structure acts as a reference to the unknown sequence what is that all right second is the sequence alignment third is which you so first and sequence a second are actually with each other third is your backbone model building so once we have selected uh, we know which how uh, we know the template so we know uh, how are you going how we how are we going to build the model okay so then we start uh, preparing it so from the sequence first we what we do is we develop the backbone so if you know a peptide chain okay a peptide chain has a specific backbone and what adds to the so the backbone is basically your c c alpha n that peptide chain is the backbone your um, side chains and the functional groups is something what we is, is an add on thing okay so the next thing the third step is we build the backbone of the peptide chain after do we do after we add that then we start adding the accessories okay that is your loops okay or your side chains is what we keep on adding so the fourth step is you add the loop and the side chain okay the fifth step is a uh, very what what you, uh, is you carry out model refinement model refinement means whatever model i have built okay is it good enough um is it perfect 
I hope there are no uh, um, irregularities in the structure. Okay. I hope there is no steric hindrances which is there between the uh, amino acids of the uh, protein structure what I have done. So all of this is what we call as model refinement. Okay. Um, that's the fifth step. Okay. And the last step is what we call as model evaluation. So after the entire uh, model refining and everything, the small detailing has been done. Okay. Finally, you evaluate the entire model. That So that means, imagine like preparing a statue. Okay. You first build the main skeleton of the statue. Then you start adding uh, different uh, things with the hands, uh, the ears. Okay. Uh, the detailing of the eyes and everything you start adding to the statue. Then you see the model refinement where the small, um, uh, you know, the, the minute detailing, okay, or uh, has the shape of the uh, uh, eyes, the shape of the ears, the shape of the hands, okay, has has it been perfect or not? And after you're done, the it, the last is your final model evaluation. That hope there is no issues with anything, okay. So similarly, so you, you can actually say that uh, ek ek. A statue banana, a murti banana is very similar to your uh, protein structure determination. You can, you know, uh, use that as a comparison. So, you hopefully you understood what are the six steps in your homology models. First is your template selection, which also includes your sequence alignment. Then third is your backbone model building. Fourth is loop modeling and side chain refinement. Uh, fifth is your model refinement using energy functions. And sixth is model evaluation. So this is what is homolo homology modeling, where you are predicting a tertiary structure of a protein uh, based on an of, uh, the tertiary structure of the protein okay uh, using some known structures as a reference for a sequence which is completely new or uh, unknown okay so hope you understood what is homology modeling uh, in the uh, in the next video we'll be looking at how to actually perform a or we'll be performing a tutorial for homology modeling using a uh, online server called as swiss model so check it out Bye.